So the summary of sort function is that Excel sort function sorts the content of a range or array. Uh, might be you have previously used sort built-in functionality in Microsoft Excel, and you know with the uh, with the word sort, it it can come in your mind the sorting of text values, the sorting of number values from ascending to descending, descending to ascending, right? Uh, so the sorting function does the same, but but it has a lot of capacity capability of uh, adjusting itself into different kind of complex situations. So let's discuss this. The Excel sort function sorts the content of a range or array. Values can be sorted by one or more columns. Sort returns a dynamic array of results. Okay, and that's the beauty of it. The purpose of sort uh, function is to sort range or array. Return value, definitely we will get a sorted array. And the syntax of this function is uh, there are four different function arguments. The first one is array, which is the compulsory, and then three are the optional sort index, sort order, and by column. And let's understand each of this function argument what it actually does. So the first uh, function argument is the array. Array means range or array to sort you are required to sort. Sort index means uh, which column will be the base point for sorting. So the default is one. Okay. Sort order means uh, if you want to sort in ascending, you have to write one. If you want to sort in descending, you need to write minus one. And if you skip, either you don't write one or minus one. If you skip this optional function argument, default is ascending order. By column means, uh, true means sort by column. If you have a column wise data and you want to sort column wise data, you need to write true. If you want to sort raw wise data, you need to write false. And if you skip that, it will be false at the default. Okay, so let's start the demonstration part. And now we will discuss two different examples regarding the sort function. Okay, and uh, that will also give you an idea that at present how you are doing in Excel and after the dynamic array, how you can uh, perform very easily in, in uh, by the help of sort function. And we have one more similar kind of uh, function with a little difference uh, which is sort by which we'll discuss after this function so let's get start uh, first i will just copy the headings here and now i will apply the sort function equals to sort first it say, says the select the array so the array will be definitely we need to sort this in uh, data uh, based on two columns which are na uh, different names and their respective scores then based on which column now we need to sort the data okay we need to sort the data according to the scores now a score is the second column sort index so we will write two here then which type of sort order you are required either you are required ascending or descending if you are required highest to lowest so this means you are required descending and for descending you need to write minus one okay and then how this sort will create the results for you either in raw this is the raw wise sorting or a column wise sorting and we know that this is a raw wise sorting so we we have to write false here or we can skip if we will skip the default is false so when i press enter now you can see that i just applied the function in one cell and it spill all over the way to create an array and my this unsorted data has now been sorted from descending to ascending highest to lowest okay so this is very easy to do with the help of sort function dynamic array function okay now you can compare it with primarily what you are doing currently in microsoft excel for doing these kind of things and uh, Definitely, as, as I told you, the dynamic array is changing or reshaping the way user uses the Microsoft Excel. The second example is now we have a data in a, in a different kind of format, column wise. Okay, and we need to sort that. So again, equals to sort array. Array means the entire data set exclusive of headings. So I have selected uh, the data which is starting from C16 to L17. Sort index. Now, what will be the sort index? Definitely, we need to sort depend on the score. So that is the second row here. Sorting according to the highest to lowest. For the highest to lowest, we are using descending, which is minus one. And as, as we know that we are sorting column-wise data. So to sort the column-wise data, we need to write true here. 
and as soon as I press enter now you can see that your unsorted data has been sorted very easily okay so these are the two examples where you can use this sort function but this is not limited to this scope or extent sort can come handy with different kind of additional functions as well as I told you it's depend on your situation or use case okay but it's very important in this webinar to understand the fundamental of each of the dynamic arrays so that later on when you learn all these dynamic array functions so you then you can add a combination of two or three dynamic array formulas or functions uh, to get the, your desired output okay going towards the next function of dynamic array uh, which is the sort by okay so first the summary the sort by function sorts the contents of a range or array based on the values from another range or array now you need to understand the difference between a sort and a sort by so if sort is doing the sorting then why we have a sort by so there is a very critical point i'm a, i'm reading it again the sort the excel sort by function sorts the contents of a range or array based on the values from another range or array okay the range or array use the sort does not need to appear in the result so it will uh, we will be having a base column uh, which will be the base and and sorting depending on on the other column but it will not create a result for that as we done in the sort function and we have a demonstration in next few minutes the purpose of sort by function is to sort a range or array of a column definitely the return value the returning of this function is the sorted array syntax we need to understand the syntax there are four more than four function arguments to it the first one is array which is the compulsory then the by array which is also compulsory and then remaining are the optional so if we discuss the arguments the array means we need uh, we can now understand that the array means a range or a group of cells to sort by array means a range or array to sort by what that range would be or, or which will be the base for sorting our data sort order again this is optional but if you want ascending which is the default you need to write one descending minus one array on order which is the optional additional array or sort order pairs okay uh, there are a few important notes towards the sort function by let's discuss this first and then we will quickly jump to the excel demonstration part so the all argument must have compatible dimensions this means that array and by array one must contain the same number of rows which means the equivalent number of data okay uh, this doesn't mean that array has uh, 10 rows of data 10 data and uh, array one has eight so this should be same number of rows equivalent the by array arguments can be only be one row or one column okay the sort order argument can only be minus one descending or ascending if no value provided sort by will use the ascending order as by default so let's start the demonstration part that how sort by works okay so now we have example here we have two columns name and scores and we required an output only for names and we need to sort the names based on scores but we don't want score as an output to be the part okay so in these kind of situations we use the sort by function and how are we gonna do it equals to sort by bracket open first we need to write the array okay so it is starting from uh, the array which will be the output so b4 to b13 then in by array which is the criteria part which is the base point of and we will include the score column for starting from c4 to c13 and we will say that sort this column into descending order which is the minus one and bracket closed so now we got output of name of the person based on their highest to lowest score so as you can see there the first name is Salim. Now, why we are getting Salim at the top? Because Salim has the highest score, which is 95. 
why we are getting the camera at the second position because the second highest number so we we have sorted we have extracted the sorted list from a data source based on the score at the back end uh, and this kind of functionality is being done by the sort bar function okay and more ideas to it uh, you can sort by text length you can create a custom lit custom list and then you can sort to it so there are many ideas to it and now you can compare it with primarily with the normal excel strategies as compared to this kind of awesome dynamic array functions okay